Well, food prices continue to rise, and that's marking that's making for a more expensive Thanksgiving feast. But there are some bargains to be had. You just need to shop carefully. Joining us now is Andrew Stevens, a UW Assistant Professor of Agriculture and Applied Economics. Thank you for thanks, joining thanks us. Thanks for coming out today. My pleasure. So how are the prices for turkey looking? Well, turkey's the bright spot. Overall, food prices at the grocery store are up about 5% year over year. It's a lot better than last year. Last year, they were up uh, almost 11.5%, if you remember all those inflationary yeah. pressures. Um, but, but turkey's the bright spot because turkeys seem to be uh, way lower in price. That's because last year there was this big bird flu outbreak and right. all of these millions of birds were, were killed before they were brought to mm -hmm. market. And this year that that's not happening. So wholesale prices for frozen turkeys are about 25% lower than they were this time last so, year. And that's just the entree. And there's all <laughs> sorts of other goodies to be had. Absolutely. I, one of my favorites has got to be cranberries since Wisconsin is mm -hmm. the, the nation's leader. Yeah, number right? one producer. Absolutely. Um, but you look at the rest of the table and uh, uh, some prices are going up more than others. Um, uh, let's take a look at the, the more pricey objects. Sure. Uh, items, that is. Starts with um, fats and oils. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fats, okay. oils, sugars, and sweets. Th this is one of those opportunities where I think your pocketbook is pointing you the same direction as your doctor. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, okay. it's these, these unhealthy foods are the ones that we're seeing sort of go up in price the most. And those fresh fruits and vegetables, those, mm -hmm. those whole grains, we don't see those as inflationary. So uh, I, I sort of think you don't have to think too hard this year to try and make that, um, that holiday waistline not quite as stretched. Do you think prices will go down at all between now and Thanksgiving, or are they just going to probably stay about the same? Well, you know, I, I think grocery stores want you to come shop at their store, and so you're going to see some great deals on those ho holiday staples. Um, but I, I don't think there's going to be a huge last-minute push. So uh. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot and look in your, you know, magic, crystal magic ball here, but between Thanksgiving and the next set of holidays, like, what's the, f I mean, I feel like right now we're just opening the door to the whole food party. Yeah, so. absolutely. I think we're expecting to see prices sort of slowly rise. In an average year, prices rise 2.5% on mm -hmm. food. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't go stock up on three or four frozen turkeys. I would, um, I, I, I don't think anything is going to fall out from the bottom. Does buying in bulk help, like a Costco or something? Certainly, uh, buying in bulk helps. It, and if you're thinking about those fruits, vegetables, things mm -hmm. that are more perishable, uh, frozen vegetables are, are a great deal. Um, very fresh. Um, I, I think they're a better choice than canned if you can if okay. you can swing it. And then eggs. Remember eggs were like, ugh. Oh yeah, like five, ten, fifty dollars a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> but they've come back, they've come back down. Yeah. Well, and, and so the whole story here is the bird flu last year. And so an interesting thing about the way that the, the bird flu affected our food mm -hmm. prices, um, we have different kinds of chicken for chicken meat and for eggs. We've got broilers for the meat and, and layers for the eggs. Okay. And it takes about half the time to grow a broiler from an egg to a chicken. But for a layer to get to the point where she's laying eggs, it mm -hmm. takes about twice as long. So when all of these flocks got knocked out last year, mm -hmm. it took that much longer for all of those egg prices to come back to normal. But we're finally there. And they are normal. I mean, they're selling them mm -hmm. for like 88 cents a dozen in some stores. Yeah, I, uh, I, I see the, the shelves stocked and, and I, I'm not having a heart attack every time I look at the price. <laughs> So what do you tell people how, you know, I, it's, it's what, a week and a day until Thanksgiving. So you got to be doing your shopping now or soon. What do you tell people like, okay, it's getting down to the, to the wire here. Here's how, what you can do to save some, some money. I, I, would, I would comparison shop if you can. If you've got a couple of mm -hmm. stores that you like, I would take a look at what they're offering. But I'd say the big thing is start defrosting your turkey early because you don't want to be stuck on Thanksgiving <laughs> morning with a frozen turkey. That's true. All right. Long Thank line. you very much. Andrew, thanks for being with us. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving.